Hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Tales of Brasaria with Alex Pretty Games. On oh, the last episode, we made our way out of the Evil Grounds and into the Bridged Ravine where we did a bit of exploration. Um, and we ended it off here. Um, because there's a save point, and yeah. We also found out that there's this person called the Swordbreaker who's apparently going around breaking swords. We prepared for a bandit or something. Um, so that'll be fun to see where that heads. Um, but yeah, in the meantime, Let's quickly check up on the expedition. Take a look at this. Well, well. Now here's a fine haul. Nice. Uh, yeah, I'll send the boat Scout back ship there. setting sail. Yeah, um, as you can see, I finished off in the Dumail Islands um, on the last episode, and I was actually doing a bit of grinding between episodes, so I ended up going to the XPRC as well. Um, I've not got any of the special items except for the food, but um, here's the information for the XPRC. These waters are said to be the home of angels whose haunting songs lure sailors to their demise. Safe passage is only granted to those who offer a chosen one in sacrifice. And um, the food that came with it is the Dwarven Salisbury Surprise. The succulent patty overflows with juices, but where the meat came from is a mystery. Um, I think it's a reference to Tales of Symphonia. Um, the area and the food, obviously. Um, anyway, I, I grinded between episodes, as I said, and we went up about, by about six levels. Um, I was playing as Eleanor pretty much the entire time, and it was a lot of fun um, getting used to her fighting style and things. I, I think I've got a good grasp of it now. It's weird, because I didn't even use her in the party for a long time in my last playthroughs, but uh, my last playthrough I only did one. Um, but no, she's actually a lot of fun to play as. Um, but the only thing is, while I was grinding, um, we died a lot at the beginning of the grinding, so now I have no items. I have four apple gels and that's it. Um, and I did go back to the Evolve Ruins where the turtles was before. He's not there anymore, which is strange. He just up and left, I suppose. <laughs> it kind of makes sense, he's probably scared out of his wits by, by Velvet and the others. Um, but yeah, because he's gone, um, I couldn't buy anything, so this might be fun. <laughs> um, hopefully we'll be alright since I've grinded a bit, but yeah. Anyway, let's um, head on and see what's going to happen in the story today. Um, also, I got a lot of cat souls when I was um, grinding. I only went into that one cat's room once, but I still got loads. What's wrong? An enemy. That sword. Is that Stormquell? A demon wielding a foreign made sword. You must be the sword breaker. Alright, okay. Very much martial arts. Not much for conversation, are you? Silence, they say, is only commendable in an ox tongue dried and a maid not vendable. <laughs> okay, Magulu, whatever you say. Oh, man. It's weird, Magulu has arts, but I always use her as a physical fighter. Oh, no. Nope, 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 nope. nope. Let me out of the way, please. Thank you. No mercy. Or actually, no, please give me all of the mercy. I am I am just a poor girl, no deal to me. Well, especially not in this party, everyone seems to hate me. Oh man. Okay. Right, let's not get hit. Especially by that sword, because it looks like a mean sword, especially if it breaks other swords a lot. It's just, it would be painful to get hit by it, is basically what I'm saying. I'm really talking a bunch of crap today, I'm sorry. Okay, come on. Oh, ow, ow, ow. Oh, no, get out of the way, get out of the way. Okay, it's fine. Uh, his moves are so slow, I should really be more careful about this. Okay, this is fine. Oh. 
Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, you got. You didn't use your soul thing on him? I said! I. Dear God. Nope. Okay, this is gonna be fun. Oh, nice, I got two. Uh, the worst thing is when you only have one soul, because you can't do anything. Especially if you're like a melee fire like Velvet, it's useless to have only one soul. Sir. Ow. Okay, this is fine. Ow. I want that. Yay. Okay. This is fine, this is fine. Nope. Oh no. I was gonna say, does he have two different soul bursts? I think he does. Does he? Um, I can't actually see. Lightning thrust, slowing break. Are they both? I think they might both be soul bursts. I'm not sure. Ah, nope, nope. Oh, hi, Maggie. How are you doing? Oh, ow. Nope, nope, nope. Get out of the way. Nope. Oh, no. No, no. Oh, I died. Oh, no. I died. Okay, Aizen. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Okay, this is going to be fun. Um, Let's... Switch Velvet back in, maybe. Nope, nope. This is fine. This is really weird as a camera angle, but that's fine. Okay, this is fine. Okay, this is fine. Ooh. I take it that zero impact is the armored one then. Hi. Nope. Oh, you restrained. Dang it. I was gonna use my Mystic Heart, but. Oh no! No. Nope, nope. Oh, I wish someone else had BG. Uh, no, no, stop hitting my healer! Oh, I still got it. Oh, nope. Okay, this is fine. Oh, nice. There he is again, oh god. Okay, this is fine. Woo! Nope. I love that he keeps using his soul thing because it keeps giving me three. And I need them. Oh, 
Oh, nice. Okay, this is fine. I'm basically just permanently theorized, but that's fine. Oh, oh no, 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 you are not going near my healer. No! Oh no, oh no, I died. Oh no. Um, Can you do 250 damage? I hope you can. Oh no, stop it, stop it. Get out of the way, get out of the way. Okay. Ooh, ooh, this might be fun. Nope, might. Okay, this is fine. Um, I could actually switch to Rokuro or Magulu, but um, the boy has health, so it's fine. Go forth, freeze and burn! Fair police! You wronged me! Hear your justice! Fight in order! He's still moving. I'll take this one. Come and get me! Son! <laughs> Good, a challenge! Look out! Don't interfere, brat! Uh, what do you think you're doing? Touch me and I'll kill you. Uh, I'm sorry. I just got a little riled up. Do you know that demon? No, but I know his sword. A blade called Stormquell. Stormquell? Whatever. It doesn't have anything to do with us. Let's just get to the portal already. Oh my god, well that went. <laughs> oh man. Basically just soloed that on Velvet. Oh my gosh, we probably all need healing. Oh wow. Yeah, eyes and a velvet are dead. Okay, let's get some cooking in here. Um pickle more sausage on Aizen. This'll do. Try some. Thank you very much. Okay. That actually went. I didn't expect that to happen, but that's fine. <sighs> Lavi said, I'm sorry about what happened back there. I thought he was going to kill you. Yeah, I know. You were just doing what you thought was right. Yeah, maybe so. That's good then. I didn't give you a clear enough warning to stay out of it. If it ever happens again, I'll give you a proper warning. You really don't want me to help you? Even if your life is at risk? Yup. Why? Actually, I'm not too sure myself. Huh? There's somebody out there I need to defeat by my own hand. I want to strike him down. I want to triumph against him. But to do that, I need to be a better swordsman. Someone you have to defeat. In a sword fight, yeah. And I'll do anything to ensure I come out on top in the end. No matter how much it costs me. Life, limb, hell, even my heart and soul, I'll pay it. Those feelings have been so central to me for so long. I lost my dang humanity somewhere along the way. Why do you need to win that badly? <laughs> to be honest, beats me. Maybe it has to do with me being a demon. Or maybe that's why I became one. Either way, it's more important to me than life itself. More important than life. But still, I owe you for saving me back there. There's no victory pose in store for me if I'm dead. Uh, okay. Is that how you thank someone for saving your life? Huh? I'm just being honest with the little guy. And no offense and all, but why do you care? You don't even think it disrespectful? You truly are a demon. Yep. Big old demon. 
there's such an interesting dynamic between Eleanor and um, Rokuro. Like, she's so, like, opposite to him. Like, she's human for a start. She's highly strung. She's pure um, in the sense of um, not being a demon, I suppose. Um, whereas Rokuro is so chill. <laughs> It's so interesting to see them interact, just because of these differences that they have. I don't know, I just, I love the dynamic. And then again, Rokuro will be like a big brother to Lapis and just apologising for almost killing him. You know, that's nice of him. <laughs> oh man. Uh, also, hey, this part here is um, the entrance to Western Bolt Gorge. This is where the the guy stands to sell us stuff, and then that's where a chest is, like a normal chest usually, but it's a cat's chest here. Speaking of which, hi. <laughs> it's only 70. I have 609 cat spirits. And we got the drop earring left, let's have a look at that. Um, on Eleanor, sure. Um, this item first draws the gaze and then diverts it to the wearer's eyes. And uh, that's it there. Yeah, I think it looks quite nice. Um, although on Eleanor, she'd probably look better with an earring in both ears because um, she's very symmetrical in her appearance. I just It looks weird to have one asymmetrical aspect, you know? For other characters it might work a little better, like maybe for Rokuro. <laughs> um, not that I think he's the type to wear jewellery and things, but yeah. It looks a little bit better on him because he's very asymmetrical anyway. Or maybe on Magilu. Um Although you can't really see it on her. Oh, it's there though. Yeah, it looks a little bit better on her. But we're not we're not putting on the drop earring. I'm sure everyone would wear earrings if they wanted to, but yeah. Actually I think the only Tails character I could think of off the top of my head who I've seen wearing earrings is Ceres. She has those butterfly ones. It's interesting, actually. Huh. Don't think I've actually seen that many wearing earrings. Anyway, um, I still can't stop thinking about how this is my triple gorge, as usual. I just, I, I love looking at this place and knowing where it is. It's great. Um, anyway, let's head on with the story because there's still plenty to do. Hmm, now why does that name sound so familiar? Hey, Eleanor? Thanks for stepping in earlier. Think nothing of it. My orders are to protect you, so I did. Oh, I see. Of course, orders are no orders. I'd save anyone under threat from a demon. Well, how noble. Oh, I got it! Got, got what? The tragic tale of the sword storm quell. Gather round and listen, oh grimy travelers. Once, centuries past, there was a sword renowned the world over for its peerlessly sharp edge. Its forger shrouded in mystery. So mighty was each swing of the sword, it produced howling winds that could level mountains. No other sword could match its power. The people, in their superstition, began to call it the Godblade. This Godblade? Is it Stormquell? Shush! The tale is merely beginning. Now, there was one man who was truly enamored with the Godblade. His name was Kurogane, a blacksmith of wondrous talent. His heart was set on forging an even greater sword, and he had a name in mind for this sword. Stormquell. The sword to conquer the Godblade's roaring winds! And did he make it? Kurogane forged scores of challengers to the Godblade, but each would-be Stormquell was shattered by the implacable howling wind. Some say the wielder of the Godblade chopped off his head. Others say he took his own life. The truth is lost to the dusty cobwebs of history. But perhaps he, and his grudge towards the Godblade, somehow yet live. A grudge that spans centuries. You hear tall tales like this all the time. That sword and its inscription we saw were probably just inspired by the legend. Perhaps. But if that's the real Stormquell, 
We should all sleep with one eye open tonight. What makes you say that? Because that god blade Kudogane wanted so desperately to top has been passed down through my family for generations. Its name is Stormhowl. Oh. In other words, we could well bump into your armored friend again. Let's hurry it up. Yeah, probably better not to bump into him again. All right, so we are in the Wester... No, sorry, the Vester Tunnels old mining site. I completely misread that. <laughs> um, so this place is nice. Um, let's grab all of these items while we're here. Oh, is there something that way? Oh, there's nothing. I've been tricked. I've been fooled. Bamboozled. Um, I need to go down the way so that I can go into here. They put so much stuff all over the place, I'm just like, but I need to find all the stuff. Are these new? Are oh. we ready for this? Oh, it's new. Okay, this is fun. Okay. Is this a new? Come on, really? Like, these fights are so much quicker now that I'm actually um, at a good level. I got a title called Combo Artist? What is that? Um, Combo Artist. Uh, a title for one who has defeated more than a certain number of foes with 40 hit combos. Or 40 plus hit combos out of 10. That's quite cool. Um, also, I think some of her equipment's mastered. I'm going to very quickly look through these. Are you hurt? Can you stand? Yeah. <laughs> she was saying she wasn't worried about him. I think she is a little bit. Oh dear. Okay, where am I going? I'm lost? Oh, there. What was that? She just freaking punches it, but like... What? <laughs> that was so weird, Eleanor. How does that work? Eleanor, sorry. Uh. Oh, my expedition returned. Let's have a look at that. Take a look at this. Well, I suppose every up wow. is... They <laughs> found a whole bunch. Every up has its downs. I knew this would be big. Ooh. What a treasure! Nice, we got the Yggdrasil goddess statue. I, I don't know if I'm pronouncing Yggdrasil right. I'm so sorry if I'm not. Um, a statue pulled up from the Exvere Sea depicting a beautiful goddess. The figure is imbued with a mysterious energy that causes it to gradually move over time. Let's have a look at that treasure, shall we? She's so pretty. Oh god, I've got two voices again. Oh no. Okay, good luck. Um Okay. <clears throat> An image of the goddess Martel. She takes many forms across several mythologies, but always as the guardian of the world tree. Really? <laughs> that was not a good laugh, I'm so sorry. I according to legend, the tree stands at the center of I that that oh okay. I pressed the wrong button there, I'm sorry. According to legend, the tree stands at the center of the world and produces life energy. Martel watches over the tree, alongside the spirits that dwell within it. I see. I'd like to meet this goddess someday. Well, well, Laffy said. I didn't know you were into older girls. Huh? Older girls? <laughs> There's no need to be ashamed. It's a phase most boys go through in one time or another. Uh, alright. <laughs> He's so confused. Uh, those voices were awful. I'm so sorry. I do not remember how I did, did the eyes and voice last time, but it wasn't even that good last time either. <laughs> oh dear. Okay. Let's grab this chest. Is it just me or is there no music in here? Oh no, there is. It's just really quiet. Okay. I forgot. I have my audio quite low. Um... Yeah, I still got the background music one. That's fine. Sometimes I turn it off if I'm grinding. Um, and I didn't know if I'd accidentally done that, but no, apparently not. Actually, I think I w when I was grinding last time, I didn't even have 
the game audio on at all. I think I just had the TV muted. Um, yeah, probably. Not that it matters. Right, hello. Oh, wow, that's our... No, 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 I'd really rather not. No, thank you. Listen, Lafayette. What is it? You can't trust her just because she said she'd protect you. Orders or no orders. Remember, Malakim are just tools to exorcists. But... she really did protect me. I know you feel you owe her for that. But do you have to look so happy about it? Sorry. I'm not asking for an apology. I just want her to know that we've all got an eye on her. No matter how close you two get, I want her to understand that I come first. So... what do you want me to do? Let's see. To put it simply, I'm number one, and Eleanor is number two. Got it? I get it. You're number one, and Eleanor is number two. Right. I'm number one. Wait, this is kind of stupid, isn't it? It's alright. I understand. Uh, that's not what I mean. <laughs> Eleanor. Not Eleanor. Velvet. She's so jealous. <laughs> I think it's because it's the first time in so long she's had a like someone who's a bit like a little brother to her and she's so jealous about that. Oh god, I kind of feel bad for her. Right. Oh, hello, you know it's me. Did you think you could escape me? Yeah, I think Velvet got that time looks it. Um, okay. Where are we going? I'm lost. Am I lost? Aren't we all lost? Lost in this ephemeral thing we call- ephemeral thing we call life. I don't think ephemeral was someone else looking for. I still can't get over that. Um... Vel- not Velvet. What is your name? Eleanor. Eleanor using dirt fists just to train break a rock. <laughs> She's so strong, but like how? Um Okay, let's have a look at this door, shall we? The door is sealed by a magical barrier. You can sense fire mana inside it. And uh there's a big pillar thing here. A candle? What's that doing here? Oh, I think these were used to keep robbers away. Like wards around old king's tombs. I've read about this. There's a trick to the stone. It reacts to heat. Heat, huh? Then there's only one thing to do. Uh, so basically we could do the same thing that we did in the fire trial, but with them um, kindling instead of um, magical shepherd powers. And we just take off the seal. Nice. Have they... they've improved the fire, haven't they? I think they've improved the fire animation. I might be wrong. It looks pretty. Anyway, uh, let's keep heading on through here. Oh, hi. There's a lot of zombies in this room. Oh, I can go through here. Please don't follow me. I will break down your house with my hands. Because Vel... not Velvet. Eleanor can do that. Her fists are so strong they will pound through any door, any steel, any rock. <laughs> but she will not do it unless it is absolutely necessary, because that is Eleanor. Ah, uh, okay, um, and this is the mutant hellion code red demon room. Oh yeah, that one's supposed to be Ouroboros, but they changed the colour scheme a bit and it looks weird. <laughs> I was just like, wait, was that one in Cisteria? Yeah, it was. It's Iroboros, but yeah, it doesn't look like him. They made him more vibrant, I guess. Oh wait, this thing? Oh, mine. Okay. We're not fighting it just yet. Maybe sometime. Not today. Not today. Um, yeah. We need to keep going with the story and stuff. Um, because I want to see what happens. Well, I mean, I know what happens, but I want to see what happens. <laughs> I want you guys to see what happens. Eleanor's wearing heels. That's. I was gonna say she's wearing very sensible footwear, but she's not. Why is she wearing heels? Is that not uncomfortable? Fighting in heels, running in heels, all day, every day. 
That sounds so uncomfortable. <laughs> oh man. To be fair, I don't wear high heels, but that's because they're uncomfortable. Is there anything over here? Yes, cat souls, nice. We, we still have 572, so we're not running out anytime soon. But pretty soon I'm sure they'll start breaking out the big cat souls wherever they cost loads. Here you are, I hate you. The port on Cadmus Island is through the tunnels beyond the sealed door. Wait, was that information free too? That was really bad as a turtle's voice. But hey, I could buy items now. And like, look how much gold I have. I could buy Denor bottles. In fact, I will buy Denor bottles. Uh, do I need anything else? You know what, I will buy... Maybe not that much. Uh, but I will buy a few more ingredients. Uh, let's make it up to 15 on each. Uh, yeah, if we do that, then I still have a bit of crab left. Oh, nice! Oh, I receive a discount. Nice. And uh, we receive the Adept's, Adept's Glacite, which provides the ability to trigger a random skill that reduces item cooldown time. Nice. Oh, I can buy peach shells. Yoink. Okay. I still have some gold left. That's fine. Uh, do I have anything I can sell? Uh, yes, I do. All of these should be pretty much useless to me, so... Yeah. Okay. Nice! So now we have a few more items at the very least. Um, and a bit of cash too, just in case we ever need to buy more. Thank you, Turtles, for giving us your um, services. Except you weren't there when I needed you most. If you aren't the craziest demon, your body's harder than your own sword. Who's this? That's Lord Shigure, one of the only two legged exorcists in the entire abbey. <laughs> A legate, same as Melchior. Eleanor, fancy meeting you here. What the hell happened to you? you get captured by a demon? Or are you a turncoat? Uh, I... I'm... Eh, don't matter. I do my own thing. I got no standing to tell you how to live. Still, today's my lucky day. Never thought I'd encounter the one and only Stormquell. Shigure, I think someone over there wants your attention. He looks lonely. <laughs> You're right, I'm being a jerk. Just can't pass up the chance to tease my little brother. Can I, Rokuro? Your brother? You haven't changed a bit, Shigure. You go blind, dumbass? I'm bucket load stronger now. You're the one who hasn't changed, I bet. You still hung up on trying to take me down? The one you want to beat in a fight? That's him? I'm not who I was that day either. Brother. Oh, wait. You're a demon? Ha! <laughs> now it's getting good. But I wonder, has that really changed anything? When my real storm howl breaks your sad reject again, you gonna piss yourself like last time? <laughs> I'll handle him. Laffy said, no matter what, I need you to stay out of it. Uh, all right. Oh dear, I don't know how to play as your crow. Okay, I'm gonna heal. Um, or maybe I'm supposed to die? I don't know. Am I supposed to die? <laughs> Come on now. Don't tell me you're finished already. I'm supposed to win. Oh god, okay. 
Oh no. Okay, let's go. Uh, I'm actually gonna die. I'm actually gonna die. <laughs> it's been too long since we crossed swords, brother. Shut up. You're dead. I'll make you regret sparing my life last time. I actually quite like this combo. Nope, 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 nope. Get back, get back, get back. Okay, how do I use his uh, break soul? Uh, R2, okay. Break soul. Vengeful stance. Hold R2 with three more souls. Cost one soul. Takes a parry stance and increases the stun rate of attacks. Right. Okay. Okay, cool. Uh, this might be fun. <laughs> Oh, nice! Oh, no, I didn't mean to use that. Dang it. I have a trigger figure for it now. Killing flash! But I'm this close, I won't miss! Form zero! Okay, nice. Okay, cool. You're feisty as a demon. I like it. <laughs> But alas, I think our fight's over. Rokuro! What? My... my body! <gasps> I said stay out of this! We're just getting started here! Oh? No backing down for you this time, huh? But we're done for today. Shigurai! Oh, calm down, Rokuro. We could have a real fight sometime if you actually brought a decent sword. Go ask that old bastard there to make you one. I'll be waiting. Huh? Who? That demon in the armor, Kuragane. The blacksmith from the story. I'll be waiting for you at Port Cadnix. Unless you can beat me. You ain't getting off this island. Who are you to decide that? You got a problem with it, lady? <sighs> <laughs> Best of luck, you demons. You'll need it. Lord Shigure, sir. I'm on a high-level mission. Eleanor, babe, I get it. You've gone rogue. Have fun with that. I see you again. I'll kill you. Uh... He wasn't even trying yet. You can tell. But if we all fight him together... That won't work. But there is another way. What are you talking about? What way? Follow me. Rogoro! Okay, I actually did that. That's cool. Velvet, aren't we going after him? This is his fight. It has nothing to do with me. But Shigure said he'd be waiting at the port. He may be a nutball, but I don't think he's fool enough to let us slip past. Exactly. And as a swordsman, he's even more skilled than Artorius, and that's saying something. We're mice with our tails pinned, and the cat's licking his lips. At the very least, Korogane seems to have some kind of plan. Fine. We'll hear what he has to say. Okay, we have a skit here. Morgrim the Cat Malak. What was that fat cat creature with Shigure? You mean Morgrim? She's a Malak. She just looks different. And? And what? She has all the abilities of a Malak. I'm not trying to keep anything from you. All I know is her name and that she's a Malak. Huh. Lord Shigure is an exorcist legate, but he's also a warrior who can match exorcists or demons even without the use of Malak arts. Since no one has ever seen Shigure use an art, 
Morgrim is considered one of the Seven Wonders of the Abbey. The Seven Wonders of the Abbey! No one knows Morgrim's capabilities, or even the details of Shigure's pact with her. No one! Except me, that is! Huh? This is all highly classified, but... Morgrim is incredibly lazy. The price she demanded of Shigure for making a pact with her was... grooming and defleeing. Anything else? Oh, and on a point of sensitivity, she's chubby, not fat. She may be our enemy, but she's also a woman. You should try not to hurt each other's feelings. <sighs> Anything else? Her thick eyebrows are all the rage with Malakim, so much so that false eyebrows are expected to be the next big thing. <sighs> well, if he's that strong without Malakarts, I don't want to see what he's like with them. Who would have thought, though, that Morgrim would make a cameo in this game? Because obviously she's um, the protector sire for Pendrago in Zisteria. We can't best Shigure without a strategy. We should ask Rokuro what he knows about him. Okay, thank you, Aizen. Um, oh, they changed my party about me. Okay. Let us be going. Yes, we're going. <laughs> I need to run around as Eleanor again. Um, yeah, it's so cool seeing her, though. Um, you know, even like smaller cameo characters from Zisteria are, are here. That's really cool. Um, and Shigure is just. I love him. He's so cool. Like, he seems like he's quite similar to Rokuro in that they're, they're both quite chill. Both quite laid back. Um, but also really like fighting. And yeah, he seems cool. What were you thinking, Eleanor? Attacking a legate like that? Uh, well... I just thought Rokuro was going to die if I didn't intervene. Oh? You'd kill one of your own allies for a demon? I... I acted without thinking. Sometimes I'm too soft-hearted to a fault. I'd say it's less that, and more just stupidity. You're supposed to be protecting Lafayette. Don't get yourself into trouble you don't need. Even if one of her own is in danger? Even then. This kid must be really important to her. All right. I understand. Lafayette. Next time she acts up, stop her. Understand? We don't know what she's got up her sleeve. Uh, okay. Thanks for not telling on me, Eleanor. And I'm sorry I hijacked your body. I understand how it feels to want to protect your friends. The problem's with those demons, not you. But I think Velvet has the capacity to feel the same way, too. At least when it comes to her brother. Is that why you're staying with her? I'm... I'm not sure. It's hard to say. I have to figure out what's going on with this group. If I ever hope to wrest the child from them. It's interesting that... Lafacette was able to hijack Eleanor's body remotely. Like, I I was kind of under the assumption from Zisteria that the Seraph or Malak had to be resting within their vessel in order to control it. You know, because obviously Dezel does that with Rose. Um, but apparently Lafacette is able to do it without being in his vessel, Ele Eleanor, which is interesting. Um does make you think. Like, how does he do it? We just don't know. Is this the way I'm supposed to go? I hope not. But I can't really tell. Oh, hello chest. You are mine. You know, I'm, I'm sure I've seen this exact same shape of room like a gajillion times, including in the... Uh, what was that tunnel called? The one where we found Dial. That one. I get the feeling this is where we're supposed to go. Uh, I'm gonna go back. Because uh, I kind of want to go and get items and stuff, and I'm not planning on coming back here for a while. Search for Rokuro in the depths of the mines. Hmm. At least it's not too far to run to go over to this one. Oh, this is that short bit here. Right, okay, so that'll be a gap I can't cross then. 
you know, I'm really actually collecting things for some reason is um, something I enjoy. Be a completionist, I suppose. I really like collecting all these cat souls <laughs> and all the stuff that's just lying around. It's a bit like how I liked picking up all the monoliths and stuff in Zisteria. Um, I just like picking up things. I don't know. I don't do it so much in real life, it's mostly just in games, but yeah. I suppose because in games though, they kind of make it obvious where all this stuff is. They tell you you're you're supposed to collect all these things and then you do it. Where in real life you don't really have a, a reason to be doing it. Hmm. Unless you have like a collector's journal or a scrapbook or something. I like the idea of scrapbooking, I've just never really got into it. Oh, uh, okay, that's a that's the way up over there, okay. And then that's a rock. Eleanor, here we go, it's your time. Friggin' spike that rock. Uh I get the feeling I'm supposed to go that way. But it doesn't look like it leads anywhere else. So let's let's go this way, sure. What's down here? Ooh, some castles. I will not complain. I have 600 again already. That's... wow. I only just opened that cat's box not that long ago and I've already almost got all the castles back. And it was like 70 castles. It's so easy to collect them. No, I'm not fighting any of you. Uh, succubus horn earrings. Nice. I think that's one of Magulus attachment earring things. Not like a, a fashion accessory. You know how Saray had earrings? Magulu also has earrings, <laughs> basically. Except Saray's ones were feathers and uh, Magulu's are not. I'm really just talking a whole bunch of crap. I don't know if you could tell. <laughs> okay, so this was just a dead end, but that's fine. Had a few items, so that is worth it. It's so chill in here with the music and everything, it's very soft. And then you hear all the like demons coming after you. That happens. Right, let's head back through this way. Why was Shigure even here? Like in the tunnels. Was it just to try and fight Kurogane? I take it. If he's anything like um, Rokuro, then yeah, probably. <laughs> Okay. Nope, 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 nope. Snake, snake, snake. Actually, they're not even snakes. What are they? Centipedes, that's it. They make the snake sound okay. Oh gosh. Okay, let's head through here. Yeah, this is the way we're supposed to go. I thought so. Okay. At least it's not too much of a run now. He's in the very depths of the tunnels, though. those swords! That's what happens when the legendary blacksmith Kurogane toils so hard he forgets to die. I gave up everything, thinking of nothing else but forging a sword that could surpass Stormhowl. And before I knew it... You had traded your humanity for demonhood. I see I'm not the only one. So great was your grudge against your brother. The inheritor of Stormhowl. Well, guess we're not so different. You don't suppose you could hammer me up a new sword, do you? I've forged countless blades over these long years, yet not one has proven a match for Stormhowl. And yet you still seek a Kurogane sword? I'll put it like this. No matter how much you've failed across the centuries, you've never broken. Well, I'm the same way. If anything can break Shigure and his god blade, it's the bitterness I carry. Strangely enough, seeing you and your brother has given me an idea that might work. I will forge you a new blade. Should we get some Brightstone? Nope. No need for that. Huh? Should I take it from the top? If you would, 
My arms are all I'll be needing. What are you doing? Don't be alarmed. I'm just cutting free some raw materials for the sword. You see something new every day. You need his head to make the sword? That's right. With this fine clump of pure resentment, I shall forge your imitation Stormhowl anew. No. I only keep this imitation as a reminder of how weak-willed I was in the past. To defeat Shigure, I've perfected the art of dual wielding, a secret Rangetsu technique. All right. If that's what you prefer, a pair of short swords it is. Whoa! We'll wait outside. Oh my god, thank you Aizen for suggesting a way outside. Okay, let's um, quickly get our expedition. It's so sad when no one else is in the party. Uh, we didn't actually get any special items, so let's send out again. Um, and I think this is where we're actually going to end off the episode, because we've been going on for a little while. So, thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Please let me know down below what you thought of everything that happened in this episode here today. I hope it was enjoyable to watch, to see um, Kurogane and to see Shigure and Morgrim as well. Um, <laughs> I just, I love seeing her. It's so strange, but wonderful. I love it. Anyway, thanks again. I hope you have a great day, night, or whatever the time it's for you, and I will see you next time. So like, demon? Shigure has these oh, three it's good. scratches on his chin. But I wonder, Do you think Morgrim maybe scratched really him because he called her fat?